Learning to shoot firearms teaches you a variety of things other than the ability to pull a trigger and hit your target. Shooting teaches you a variety of disciplines that you can use not just when you go shooting. Unlike what the anti-gun crowd says, there's actually a variety of life skills shooting can teach you. And there's more to shooting than just point and shoot. Number one is patience. Even if you are just plinking, long range target shooting or hunting, you need at least a little bit of patience. You do not want to cock up that shot, especially if you are going hunting. You have to make that perfect shot so you do not damage excess meat to not injure and to not miss the target. Number two is mental processing of a situation. A lot of shooting sports and hunting is about your mental strength. You have to take into account a variety of variables and your surroundings. Distance, wind and elevation are just a few variables you have to think of when you are taking a shot. You only have a small window to take every variable into account and if you do not, you risk missing your target. When shooting you need to concentrate and focus on the task at hand, focus on your posture how your trigger finger is placed, your breathing, and more. A lot of those who do not shoot do not understand that it is not all about pointing and shooting. Number three is self-discipline. Self-discipline is probably the most important skill that you will develop when shooting. When shooting, you need to have a form of self-discipline. You need to know when not to shoot and when it is safe to shoot. As a shooter, you need discipline to be able to go out and practice and hunt. Like any sport without practice, you will not evolve and become better at your hobby. You have to learn to concentrate and forget about all the distractions around you. When using a firearm safely, you cannot be distracted. Number four is fitness. I personally cannot talk about fitness without being a wee bit of a hypocrite. I will be the first to tell you that I am not the healthiest bloke around. But at the same time, I'm not the size of the Hindenburg. When shooting, especially if you are hunting, you have to have some form of fitness. Or you'll be wheezing the whole time while clambering up the side of a mountain. Using a rifle or a shotgun requires a bit of upper body strength to be able to hold the fire up and to be able to absorb the recoil. Meanwhile, if you hunt, it is best not to be a large fella. But in saying that, I have seen the odd land whale on a mountain and it looked quite a feat. Number five is enjoyment. You have to enjoy participating in the sport to actually do it. If you do not enjoy the sport, none of the four points I have mentioned matter. You won't be able to concentrate and stay focused if you do not enjoy the sport. You will constantly be asking yourself, when can I go home? Without a sense of satisfaction from shooting, there's no point in shooting. You have to enjoy firearms, shooting, and the community to actually like the sport. But sure, some of us within the community are knobs, but just ignore those fellas and make sure to ignore the fuds who will lecture you 24 7. So there you have it five things shooting sports teach you, or you need to have to participate in the sport. Some of these skills, like patience, self discipline, you can use in everyday life. Shooting is fun and is an adrenaline filled hobby that has more useful skills than anti-gunners will let you on about. Even if you just hunt, collect, plank or target shoot, there are useful skills that you will learn and can use in everyday life. Thank you all for watching, I am Ben and this is Ben Doing Things. Please give this video a like and comment if you have not. And also go on the description and click my Instagram and give it a follow. Once again, thank you for watching. Goodbye.